Hey guys, it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the Smurf playing Annie in promo today. Unfortunately, our first promo game went really poop. Played okay on Darius, got a nice, I think it was a, a kill on Malphite and was doing okay. Uh, but our Kaisa either DC'd or Rage quit pretty early into the game. She was 0-2 and they just quit. So we don't know what happened. And then we also had a Yasuo that was feeding a lot in mid lane too, surprisingly. Um, so that game went poop, but we're playing Annie now. We're against a Diana, who's in promo to Diamond, main pit by enemy. Lucian main. Again, we have Lucian top, which isn't a good thing. But uh, yeah, Lucian main. Um, maybe a smurf with that win rate. I'm not really sure. Uh, they've got a nice Thresh support. Vulnerable laner as Thresh. He dies quite a lot, but a good win rate. Ash is doing fine. Nidley's here as well. Uh, Aurelia doesn't do good. Aurelia, three losses with the game she's played, but the Kane looks pretty good on Kane. So I'm not sure how this game's going to go, but hopefully well. And uh, yeah, we'll have a fun time, hopefully. Up, skip, jump. I'm going to have a nap now. I still don't get naps, man. Does anybody else not get naps? If I go to have a nap, I just fall asleep. I'm now asleep. Um, like, I, I don't get it. They are lovely. I just, I can't nap. If I, if I go to have a nap, I'm now just sleeping for like, that is my sleep for the day, you know? Uh. You nap before work? Isn't that just called bedtime? This is really bad for me. I think they walked in a little bit too early, but it'll be good for my bot lane overall. They're getting sums. But this is really bad for me. You nap every day for about seven hours. Yeah, roughly. I'm Well, I'm about six hours, but same. All right, I missed one minion of XP. Could have been worse. Look at that Thresh, by the way. He's, he's angry. He got it. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Lol. Well played. Jaffiosaurus, how's it going, dude? You nap when Zoe's E from two screens away hits you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, top lane, Lucian, he has to stomp the Aurelia because she will eventually kill him. Just by how the champion works. But that's kind of the whole thing about lane Lucian. It is a little bit cheesy and most likely going to get camped by a jungler. Because if they can get an Aurelia really far ahead, there's nothing a Lucian can do, and you'll probably just end up feeding. Our bot lane's losing after that initial. Ah, what? I never know how that type of thing happens. Really big advantage early. And now losing. Eh? damage. Have I ever played Monster Hunter? I played a little bit of Monster Hunter, but it's just not really my type of game. Um, Overall. It's cool, though. Get 
way. He flashed. One for one's not too bad. I'll take it. Okay. Oh, please do not die to my solo. Oh! Nice! Okay, that was close. Do I not have... I do have music on. The league music sometimes is very, very... Be oh, he's actually losing in farm to an Aurelia. Mm. He doesn't... The weird thing as well, this Lucian doesn't even play Lucian, so I don't really know why he's playing it in this game. Some people just feel the need to cheese... Six. Oh, my bot lane is just straight up losing, huh? I think so. Yellow. He's got nothing to farm, like, right near here. Could be doing dragon. Get me the fruge! How's it going, dude? Ash's solo killed this set twice. How weird's that? Both times sets died. It's been solo to Ash. No assist for Thresh. That's weird. Yeah, he's tower diving and dying both times. Kais is now in a 2v1. You should probably be getting killed for that. Red Dragon, how's it going, dude? Do I just want to ult the Diana to get lane priority? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it on a Diana because she's melee anyway. You think your phone is possessed? Oh. Well, that ain't good. That was good by him. I don't know if even Diana would fight me right now. Because I think I win. Probably. Would love to try and kill her, but... We're going to play aggressive looking to get a health bar bit down. Oh, she is going all in. Nearly. I actually think I might have missed the Q then. There we go. Game. What? What? Lucian! Oh my god! What the hell just happened? Nice. Okay. Uh, Kane kind of entered that. And Lucian did a roam. I guess top lane might be going a bit poop for him. Because he's not lane bullying an Aurelia, which is a bad sign. So he decided to go for a roam. That's cool. The Kane play was the weirdest one for me, though. Like, if they get Aurelia here, that will be good. I think... Oh, God. Just do damage, dudes. Oh, my God, the Nidalee. Well done. Her health. Uh, I don't think I actually got anything. I think I just wait. All right, nice. That was weird. Inting is a... Inting for form as usual. Oh. That was just odd, though. Like, he went 
I don't know, he's walked into us. Oh, they're doing that. Ah, oh, they did have four people doing it. Okay. That wasn't my best ward. I think they're dead. Oh, maybe not. Is Set gonna die under tower again? I'm gonna roam! I'm gonna go behind the tower. I'm gonna commit to going forward the play. And they're killing everything without me. Okay, cool. Never mind. <sighs> Did I need see the new support item that holds control wards? Yeah. It frees up a uh, inventory space for supports, and I actually think it's really good. Well, this game's going pretty well. Somewhat of a stomp in the early game, but reminding people the enemy team do have a better comp. They do have a pretty dumb cane, though. And I'm not just saying that because of the plays he's made. Um, he's going blue cane in a comp that he really doesn't need to go blue cane into. Like, he's committing to Dark Harvest and everything already, so yeah, he's going blue cane. Don't need to go blue cane when you've got a better comp. They would eventually outscale us. Red cane would just be better for, like, mid-game survivability. To get to the point that then... Nice, that's really good. To get to the point that then they just outscale us, right? But he's going blue, the, the riskier thing that he can, then can get one shot versus a Nidalee or an Annie. So, really weird choice of him going blue cane this game. Just based on comp alone. It, your comp is squishy, it might work if we're fed. Yeah, but you don't need to risk it. Okay. That was three people mid. Hey, what the hell? Okay, sure. Okay. I guess I'm dead. If we get one kill from my death, I'm actually pretty happy. Oh, let's go, Nidalee! Oh my gosh, she's alive! Dodge! <gasps> this Nidalee's good! Go Thresh, bud. This Thresh has been aggro like the whole game. Oh my god, worth. For my death, we get two kills. I'll take it. And they blew everything on me. Up well, they didn't do settle. But like, Diana flashing in like that is kind of crazy. But they might be, by the way, they might be, the enemy team might be feeling pressured. Even though they probably outscale, they might be like, oh god, we're not doing anything. Let's make a play. Uh, but yeah, th this is the point of why this guy should not have gone blue cane. Why would you flash? This is where you probably should have accepted the death. If he's not dead, then okay, I guess, but... Come, come, come. Thresh. Like, yeah, th there's just no chance for this cane to do anything to a Nidalee. If you went red cane, at least you'd be like, okay, at least I'm red cane. Um, I can give my team utility. But now he's gone blue, he offers no utility to his team. He's pure damage, and now he's really far behind. Also, if this Lucian dies to a roam, which he is, like, that's literally what he gets for just not listening. You can warn people as much as they can, but if the player literally doesn't pay attention, then what can you do? Nothing. And that is on him, not me. Nice. Nidalee's just going to snowball this game, which is good. Still not a free win, though. Like I'd say, we probably would want to end this game before 25 minutes. That's probably what I would say. I would say be careful there, my boo my dude. Sitting in a really awkward way, but I can't be bothered to change how I sit right now. Okay. 
can ping more, but again, I, don't, I just don't think the Lucian's going to be paying attention from what we've experienced so far. Have I seen the upcoming Annie changes? No. There's Annie changes? What are they doing? I think I had that kill, but he, he ignited as well, the Thresh. Oh well. She's gonna go all in. She's gonna get impatient. Or not. Arrow? Ooh. She got impatient anyway. Lol. Very impatient. His blue cane that probably can't go into the group of us. And he don't, can't get a kill because he's too far behind. Yes, set. <laughs> what? Hello? Yeah, oh, Kane is so annoying. That's his whole playstyle as well. I'm going to stay around. I guess that was my bad for like not thinking about the Kane. I will just say, League of Legends is a good game, but my god there's a lot of annoying champions in League nowadays, huh? Wow. Look at him! Oh, he had a triple Q there. There is a Diana coming, but you have to be careful. There's Yasuo buffs as well coming. Oh god. They can feed even harder now. Sorry. Easy joke. To be fair, I'm a little bit salty about Yasuo's right now because we legit had the typical Yasuo last game. We had a one-trick Yasuo that mega fed. Boom! It is satisfying landing timbers on people. Did she cleanse? Yep, she did. To be honest, cleanse, I guess she's taking cleanse versus Ash because it's not going to help her versus Annie because like I can just one shot her. Cleanse ain't going to stop that. Oh, God. Oh. All right. There was like going to be very little follow up if that actually landed on something. <laughs> Lucian's got outscaled. Again, it's inevitable. That's what happens to Lucian in lane. They they don't they don't scale. <laughs> Kane okay, doesn't have Tiamat. I don't think it's a must. Well, it's not on blue Kane at least. What the hell? What just happened? Aurelia teleported next to herself. I have no idea what's going on. Misclick, I guess, probably. See, Kane, two people can be surprised one shot. Ha ha ha! Diana's done the split push build, by the way. Nash's tooth rush. Me. Is that even good for the enemy team? Didn't even think that was very good for the enemy team, to be honest. Let's go back. Let's buy before the dragon. I'll have ultimate up for the dragon roughly as well. And we're going to go back and we're doing 
What are we doing? Are we doing Morello? Morello would be handy, but I also kind of just want to one-shot things, so let's just do that. <laughs> we'll get a Morello third. Have I tried any with the new PB items? No. Oh yeah, did someone say what the new change is, by the way? I didn't, I didn't read. I don't know. Did anybody say? Any, any, wait. Annie grants herself a shield and ally. Wait, and an ally movement speed. Huh? I don't want to use Tibbers just on this guy, by the way. I think it's a waste. This guy is really feeding. He's one and nine. Oh, or an ally. Oh, what? Annie's E is turning into a shield that you can give yourself or somebody else. So you could give it on a... Because obviously it's a burn, right? I think that's the idea of it. Nice thresh play. Really good thresh play, actually. Nice and thingy. Um, yeah, you could throw it on a tank and then have the burn thing on them in the middle, I guess. Alright, this is literally what we need. What did I say? We want to win this game before 25 minutes. What we're doing, we're looking to end the game. Like, we're pressurizing the end, which is really good for us. We can then go meet... Oh, hello. <laughs> this set, dude. Alright, the cane just doesn't have enough damage because he's so far behind in blue form. Uh, we actually could probably just go into their base. All right, can we meet Kane here? Let's get ready for another potential Tibbers. Very nice. We can probably back out now. Well, that was good. You don't know if her current shield... Oh, yeah, her current one isn't a burn anymore, is it? I think that's actually changed a long time ago. That's satisfying. Killing the jungler just before a potential Baron take? Ooh. I'm going to go back and get another one of these, though. We might be able to do Baron now. Uh, what is Annie's shield? Annie grants herself 13% damage reduction and movement speed that decays. While the shield is active, is e while the shield is active enemies who basic attack take damage. Oh, okay. So that's the way they're doing it. So it's a thorn mail. I mean, putting that, again, putting that, let's say you've got a set, set top lane. Maybe not the enemy set, because you, but you put it, you throw it on a set that jumps in the fight. He's going to be probably taking more, ult, like, auto attacks and stuff than you are as an Annie. Oh, it's giving the shield more scaling. Okay. So what, are they actually wanting the Annie to go back to being a support? Because Annie, for those that don't know, Annie actually legit used to be a support, not really a mid. Um, sure, she's giving me that? Oh, that's nice. They're getting rid of the damage reduction? Oh, okay, that's fair. I don't think Lucian should be bot lane alone anymore, by the way. We just, like, look at the pressure that we've got. Why does he still need to be alone? He doesn't. Just group top, push the lane where, the, you know, the enemy team is pretty early. I have to have two in Hibs down. They have to deal with these two lanes. Pressure top lane, there's five people. They can't deal with it. We win the game. Ooh. Oh god. Set. Wait, I didn't have stun. Oh, my stun was my W. Okay, now we're breaking into this. Get the other in hip. You quit playing LOL a year ago because of the community. Has it improved in the past year? Uh, there's disabled chat feature now, so you don't actually have to have chat on at all if you don't want it. So that's quite good, but obviously that's not really been a fix. It's been a band-aid. I'd say it might have improved like a tiny bit from the beginning of the year. 
but it's not perfect. Riot has said to me quite a lot of like changes that they want to do in the upcoming season though. Exentalist24, thank you so much dude for the ongoing support. I didn't get that kill. Wabba! Hey, I got that one. And there we go, really good Annie game. Hell yeah, dude. I normally do quite good on Annie. But uh, Annie felt really decent into Diana because recently I actually was struggling against laning against Diana. Well, this Annie felt good. Like, just too much damage for a Diana to deal with. And this is, like, the thing. Enemy team had a better team comp than us. They just did. And X-Man Boots, thank you so much, dude, for the four months with Prime. Um, enemy team had a better comp. But... Um, they didn't play it right. The cane went blue, got behind early, where he could have just gone red for utility. They played risky in the early game. The set kept engaging at random times. He died 11 times. Like, they just needed to be, play, play, like, kind of kind of basic. And like I said, we needed to win pre-25 minutes where we just did that. Um, the enemy team just played way too crazy for the early game when they had a better comp than us. Um, they would eventually outscaled. Wait, someone on the enemy team recognized me, apparently. GG. I don't know who that is, but GG. Been watching for about four years. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Cheers, dude. But anyway, we went up 739. Not much farm, but that wasn't my focus. It was more about flash tibbers and stuff like that. We're in still promo. We get our win. And then damage-wise doing second most damage in the game behind the Nidley. And my lane opponent, Diana, does the least damage in the game. She can't, She couldn't really do much to a, an Annie, right? Like, she couldn't really get to me. And if she was going to get to me, then you, uh, by level 6, you have a Tibbers in your face. So, pretty good. If you're looking, like, if Diana is a champion you struggle against, play Annie. Why not? But that is going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.